Hello everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. Have you ever wondered if gel polish or if a hard gel is better? Well in today's video I want to talk about just that. When gel polish made it to the market it was a hit and not only because it looked super natural and easily went over natural nails but also because of its long lasting effect. And thanks to products later on, such as base gel coats for strengthening, allowed the gel polish to last even longer, giving the ability for natural nails to grow out even more. Which also gave a lot of women the confidence to say, no, these are not extensions, these are my natural nails, even though they're still covered under quite a bit of product. However, there is a drawback with gel polish, and that's that this product is still a soft product. So for clients with problematic nails, such as nails that curl downward or grow out unevenly, gel polish just won't be able to fix those kind of issues. And that's where hard gel comes in. On nails such as these, builder gel is the perfect option. And that's because unlike with a gel polish, we can apply the gel in a thin layer. Also, when using a builder gel, I can file the natural nail from underneath, creating a super natural and beautiful thin tip, but a tip that's still strong and will withhold the product's weight. And no, I am not a fan of only one product, but when working with nails such as my clients here, Builder Gel is just the perfect option. And thanks to Builder Gel, we were able to straighten out a crooked nail and lift a nail that was slightly bent downward. My client was wearing this set for a little over three weeks, so because of that, there is some lifting. However, that's nothing that can't be taken care of. All of the prior product has been taken down and the lifting has been taken care of. So now with my nail file, I'm shaping her nails. My client told me she wants to keep the length, so that's exactly what we're doing. However, in order not to create stress to her nail plate, my client and I agree that her next appointment won't be pushed off again and we'll be seeing each other within about two weeks. I always tell my clients that if they really can't make that appointment, they can always file down the length of their nails at home until they can come in for a fresh new manicure. The cleanup is complete, so now I'm applying a non-acidic primer and then a thin layer of a base coat. And once the base coat has cured, I'm taking this beautiful builder gel. This gel is from a Russian company. However, down in the description box below, I've listed some of my favorite products that you can find right off of Amazon. So if you haven't checked it out yet, make sure to give it a look. When applying the gel, I'm spreading out the gel and making sure to leave a thin amount by the cuticle area, bringing most of the focus of the product to the center of her nail. 
I'm also leaving more product on the tips of her nails, and that's because for this client, I'm going to need to lift the tips. With this bit, I'm filing the arch from the bottom, creating a thin, natural looking and beautiful tip. After everything has been cleaned up, I'm sealing the tips in a top coat. Our beautifully shaped nails are ready for their design. And today I'll be creating a beautiful ombre design using a sponge and a gel paint. Further, we decided to continue with our design by adding some of these fun slider decals. And using them is super easy. First, we're coating her nail in a base coat and setting it off to cure underneath the lamp. And while that's curing, I'm prepping the details, cutting them out and placing them on a cotton pad dampened in water. Once the detail is soft, all you need to do is place it directly to the nail. Then I'm going over the edges of the decal in a non-acidic primer. This way we won't have the risk of any lifting. And then last but not least, a glossy top coat. I then decided to add some more decorative elements, as I thought that these golden stickers would really complement the fun and tropical decals. And our manicure is complete. And what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you found today's video helpful, then please let me know by giving it a big thumbs up. And until next time.